Hello everyone, today I'm going to quickly run through how I use the on foot menus in Elite Dangerous Odyssey and hopefully you'll be able to see how you can navigate them for yourself. Uh, there are three on foot menus that we need to navigate. The item wheel, the emote wheel and the insight hub. I'm going to go into the controls in the options now on foot controls and in the on foot section um, you can see I have open item wheel set to zero being held down and I have open emote wheel set to F5 being held down now if you didn't know you can set um, key binds to keys being held by just simply holding the key when you bind them. So for example, if I click here and say hold L down for one second and let go, then it will set it to L being held down. But I don't want that, so I'll just clear it out. Um, I've also got both of these set to the button mode of hold. Um, I think that's that for there. Um, what else is there? Oh, also here, um, wheel left, right, up and down. You can see I've got these weird bindings of full stop, apostrophe, semicolon, and forward slash. This is because I use a Razer Charteris gaming keypad, which has a directional pad on the thumb side. And I have set the, the four directions to press those keys in the Razer Synapse software. Um, for this demonstration, I've also added these secondary bindings of W, A, S and D to show you that you can actually use those to navigate the menus. Uh, if you go down the bottom here to on foot mode switches, you can see I've also set um, tab being held down for opening the, the inside hub. Um, is there anything else there? No, I think that's up there. What you will need to do is go in your general controls interface mode and you'll need to know your UI panel select and your UI back key bindings. You can see I have my panel select set to space and my UI back to mouse 2. Um, that's what I'll be using when I select items and when I back out of items in the UI. You'll need to use whatever you have bound for those items. Okay, so if we go back into the actual game now to open the inside hub I hold down tab until the hub is fully open like so and then I can release uh, the button and the, the hub just stays open until I back out of it. Um, once I'm in there you can then use W, S, A and D to move around. I can use W to move up into comms. I can use S to move down into backpack. I can use A to move into the left scrolling menu and I can use D to move into the right scrolling menu. And once you're in one of these scrolling menus you can then use W and S to scroll up and down in them. Well, once you've highlighted the item that you want to select press your UI panel select button uh, mind space and it will bring up whatever item you've just activated. To back out of it you use your UI back binding. Uh, mine's my mouse 2 button. Um, you, you can also use your UI back button to close the inside hub. Okay so now on to the item wheel. Uh, to open the item wheel I hold down the mouse button that I've got bound to press 0. And while it's open, I can again use WASD to navigate. And as well as moving left, right, up and down, I can combine them. So I can press W and S to go diagonally to the number two. There, which is the grenades. I can press W and D to go diagonally that way. S and D to go diagonally down. And then, all you have to do is let go of the button to activate the item. 
like I just did there. So hold the button down, say go to the left for an energy cell, and release the button on my mouse, and it I'll uses that item. Charged. So that's how you use that. Um, basically the emote wheel works exactly the same way. So if I hold the emote wheel button down, you can see that comes up, and then I can use W, A, S, and D, and in combinations to select them, and then just let go of the um, emote wheel button to select the item. There you go. Um, I think that's about it. That's how I navigate the menus. Um, hopefully that helps you figure out how you can navigate the menus. Um, if you'd like me to talk about anything else or show you anything else in the game, then feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, I will mention um, that if you're looking for a group, then I can highly recommend the group that I'm in, which is the Fatherhood. Um, they're very, very good. We're all very friendly. There's lots of people that will help you out um, in the game and wing up with you, and we do all sorts of events and training and there's lots going on so come and check them out if you're interested in joining a, a good group other than that i will leave it there and get off go back to doing some conflict zones and uh, i'll catch you in another video if you like this one then please do give it a like and if you want to see some more then uh, consider subscribing thanks everyone bye